Hey guys, this is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, 8.19 p.m. on September 7th. Giving you a space weather update from this uh, CME impact, which just occurred. Let me uh, take you to the uh, K index. You can see we're in K8, which is a level 4 geomagnetic storm, which is severe. And if we go right over here to the uh, alert, the potential impacts here from NOAA, they're saying we're in a G-form severe storm, possible impact primarily poleward of 45 degrees. And if you're north of 45 degrees latitude, all the way up to the North Pole and reverse South Pole, 45 South, possible widespread voltage control problems. Some protective systems may mistakenly trip out key assets from the power grid. Induced pipeline currents intensify. Spacecraft may experience uh, surface charging, increased drag, low Earth orbit satellites. Uh, so it's begun. And this is the beginning of the X-flare. And unfortunately, let me take you here to the X-ray flux and show you what happened. It came in at an X1 first and then five, four or five hours later was the big X9.3. So what I'm telling you is that this, we might go to G5. This KP could go up to nine or up off the chart here moving forward so if you have any uh, electronics equipment i would protect them now if this goes much higher it could get much worse um i can't wait to check the wet uh the news in the morning to see what's going on right now but i don't have time to do that so the go the magnetometer is off the charts here's the shock wave of that and here i'll just run you through this is the magnetometer It's the M flare shock wave that we went into K. And then right at the end of this video here, coming up, you're going to see the X flare start to hit us right in there. So, it's a heads up on that. We just had another M flare kick off, and this this X flare earlier today. So this geomagnetic storm is going to be going on for three days. We're going to have three days of disruptions, all during Hurricane uh, Irma's landfall, which doesn't make good for uh, RF and walkie talkies and communication. So this is a real clusterfuck setting up here. Um, and I just wanted to give you a heads up on the alert. We're in G form storm. So if you feel your heart fluttering, that's because of what's happening right now. I can feel it. I felt it happening on the way home. And then when I got here, I realized we were at K8. So if you want any more details, uh, make sure to go to Space Weather Prediction Center at NOAA to keep updated on the current space weather conditions. You can also just Google X-ray flux and keep your eye on the three-day chart. Or the planetary K index is really what you want to be looking at. For human health uh, issues, it's the planetary K index. My last video, I showed you that chart, which you can link to to see uh, the health effects. But this is the only beginning of the geomagnetic storm. It could get worse from here. I expect in four hours, the next bar to come up to be much worse. And then for it to continue from there. Right now, there are some disruptions. Uh... Here is the current geomagnetic activity on the globe. Auroras are coming all the way down to New York State. Um, and it will only increase as it goes forward. Thanks for watching. Be safe, everyone.